Oh my god, she thinks she's the best tarot reader in the world or something. Well, her tarot is kind of amazing. Oh my god, you watch her tarot channel? Of course, after I saw you watching it. Oh my goody goody, oh my god! Oh yeah? <laughs> Talk nonsense and I'll block you. Oh my goody goody, oh my god. Why do they try to get blocked so bad? Oh my goody goody, oh my god. Be hey. Oh my goody goody, oh my god. I'm just trying to do love tarot. Call me stupid with a bow and arrow. Be hey. Hey, Cappy, what's up? All right, let's get the show started. Let's inquire today. Let's see whatever changes of energy. We're going to keep this brutally honest, okay? Very brutally honest, telling you exactly what the cards are saying, not making stuff up, laying it on you. I hope you're ready for this jelly. Okay, in the words of uh, a certain R&B maven. All right, let us move along. Welcome to Schnookums Land, everybody. Hello to my existing Schnookums. Let's see. Oh, my God. All right. So things have changed I think between you and someone, um, yeah, I mean, people wear masks all the time and I think you're finding, you know, as you go about dealing with people romantically, that you don't really know people as well as you think you do until they show you who they are, their true colors. And I think somebody has been found out or will be, someone is also coming to sound judgment, making very interesting calls about you. Um, obviously if you do not have a person, I just think that this is a warning, a very truthfully brutal, brutally truthful warning that, you know, maybe you should kind of slow down and really see people for who they are, as opposed to trying to explain away obvious signs, right? I mean, this is the first sort of determined, deterrent to... truth it's masking behaviors that people whom you, you could have encountered seem to take on um it feels like someone's apologetic for something though i mean with offering that cup it's emotion it's you know a tad bit of regret but it's stopping short you know, especially because it's modified by this king. He's stopping short of a lit little bit of ego and a little bit of silence. So something here could have gone back and forth for a while. Um, I just think that, yeah, I mean, with this truth coming out, see this long sword? The swords rule that truth, that communication. I just think that somebody here does not like to be embarrassed. I think that um, you will find out the truth about someone if you are dealing with somebody and they're going to have to fess up to that. They're going to have to stand in it, walk in it and do this reflection um, and take accountability. And if they don't, you see, this is really forcefully coming, calling my attention. Do you see how these cards are basically the same? They're literally repeating themselves. Um, even the two of wands when I put it back. So it seems to me like when this person gets called out, they get silent. So some of you could be dealing with that, four swords energy. Uh, you saw the ace of swords when I was talking about how it rules the truth. It rules that clarification, cuts through a lot of the BS, brand new beginning, just sort of wiping the slate clean, um, especially if an apology is owed between you and someone. Um, but again, you know, if this does not pertain then this is talking about you embracing the truth that you see in people rather than allowing the mask to tell the story. Okay, let's see what's going on sort of internally on this side. 
Interesting. So some of you are, are, are kind of articulating that you wanted to rush, right? You wanted to speed through to commitment, maybe because of age and stage, maybe because of, you know, whatever have you. Um, and then you fell short, right? Because of this, because of this, um, because of this. And that leaves you in a state of confusion. See, when we do things that are motivated by tradition, value, society, and anything external to us, that's where we really get in trouble, isn't it? And so the cards are reflecting that, um, you know, but the cards are saying though, yeah, I mean, be patient, right? They're saying over here, you've done the work. So just be patient. Don't be too disillusioned by what it is that's coming to you or what it is that you've experienced because you have other things coming to you. I think some of you are now very guarded. You know, you can't see what's in front of you. Sometimes you've been very patient or trying to exercise that patience after confusion, working on, you know, your own world and not being um, really too, too convinced anymore because you've sped up certain things trying to get here, trying to rush commitment, even though you see issues, problems, the way someone communicates being a problem, the way someone's going in and out being a problem, whether this is in your history or it's now, you've seen the flags, um, you've accepted the apologies, but you know, you're still, I think healing, look at this healing happening for you, but also look at the soulmate energy that you will attract once that healing is done. Once you break out of these chains and sort of get this balance Capricorn. Okay. Um, let's go to Aquarius. Wow. A lot of people want to hear the truth today. Look at you really pining for the truth. You're like, yes, give it to me. Tell me because I need to be in love. I need to be, some of you are like, I need to be married. I need to be in love. You know, give me the brutal honesty and how to move. Okay. Okay. Aquarius. No, no worries. Let's see first though, what's going on in your external side. Um, your, love life and or your person all right hello welcome to schnookums land hello to my existing schnookums skipping the preamble today oh you my darling that is you the star card beautiful card feels to me like someone's thinking about you also feels to me like you've been wishing hoping wanting for someone to return oh my god someone who turned their back on you well if even if that's not the case even if you don't want that person to return that person is still thinking of you still really putting you in a state of idealism here with that star card possible return i mean you know galloping there very quickly is the knight of swords um i feel like there's a fulfillment here that somebody gets out of you if it doesn't apply, then I will just say generally people think of you as somebody who is very abundant and whom they can get a lot of value from. So I would say guard yourself. Don't be an overgiver. Don't do too much, you know, because obviously with this potential here and people seeing you in a certain way, they might rush towards you to, you know, sort of gather some benefit but then leave, you know, make big, big promises and leave you hanging. A lot more work to do in your love life. It's not um, an easy, it's not, it's not, it's not a, an easy walk at all. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of work to do in your love life and um, a lot of recognition that you can, you know, sit comfortably with. You don't have to prove yourself, yeah? I think some of you work round the clock, are probably getting emotionally exhausted um, because look what you're doing. You're masking, yeah? Yeah. Putting out this brave face, masking, trying to... Okay, some of you... Mm. Some of you have problems at work. Be careful of people at work. If you're at a job where you're working in groups, just be careful there. 
or something is happening that could change your workplace reality. So be careful of that. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I think you do your best to think cognitively about people who enter your life. But, you know, I think the more grace you extend them, the more, you know, they take advantage of that and sort of either leave you hanging or walk, walk away. I would say this brand new beginning is falling out for a reason. Um, if you've been dwelling on the past, I think you are now ready to sort of, you see this? This is a victory card. Win, move forward, probably come out of a hermitude that you're in. Um, drop the mask, drop the, you know, over giving in group settings. So you don't have to prove yourself. You're going to go through a little bit of an inventory check where you're going to purge some people. Mm -hmm, I think so, because that's the only way to move forward right now. I feel like you might be stuck because the mindset hasn't changed. Your mindset hasn't changed towards someone or something or people in your life, you know, who are keeping you in a stuck position. Um, soon that's going to change. You have the wheel of fortune, right? Yeah. And you have this brand new beginning. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely think there's a movement forward. Um, you know, whomever it is that we're talking about who left you behind, that person will have to do a lot of work to re-enter your life. Anybody in your life will have to do a lot of work to stay in your life. Um, okay. Let's move to Pisces. All right. Um, hello, Pisces, and welcome. Let's get on this journey, shall we? Hello, everybody. Welcome to Schnookums Land. Hello to my existing Schnookums. This one does not want to come out. What is it? Mm, stress. Oopsie. Oh, depression. Okay. <laughs> Someone is struggling. What is happening? Why are you stopping me from pulling that card? I feel like there's a loss of confidence here. This is a loss of confidence reading for sure. Yeah, it's a loss of confidence reading. Okay, something has been left hanging in the balance. Um, I don't know what, but... I feel like someone is really expressing that, you know, they tried, they put in some effort, they tried to give quite a bit, six pentacles, but now they're holding back. Again, this loss of confidence. Um, with all pentacles, there's a rigidity here as if a window is closing. These are earth energies with those pentacles. Um, but the good news is that even if a chapter of your life or your experience with someone or just in your love life in general, even if there's a stiffness there where you're not able to get through to somebody now, especially because, you know, of this hermit mode or whatever could be the case. Once I think the general message here is as one door closes, so does another open, right? There's this revolving wheel of fortune card that brings in new opportunities. So I wouldn't fret, if I were you, over stiff, closed, difficult, stressful situations or people that really are taking you nowhere. I would say let whatever is stiff, rigid, happen, you know, because this person is, you know, if, you, if you're dealing with somebody, that person is talking about having tried, having given as much as they can with that six of pentacles and now they're falling back hermit mode um, but the universe is saying that's fine if they want to do that the wheel of fortune is still turning there are new opportunities especially in love for you so there's nothing really to fret about um, some of you have found that other people have called you insensitive or stoic and you're healing from that because you feel very misunderstood you're now starting to see things for what they are 
Um, you're also split about a decision. You're torn about whether to appeal to somebody, to apologize, to see how they're doing, get back in touch with them. Others of you are at a crossroads in your life um, that's forcing you to either end something or revisit it. Oh, it's, it's quite painful. Do you want to go back there? I don't think so. Something still makes you feel left out. Yeah, you have a negative thought, something repeating that makes you feel out of sorts and you're still holding on to it. I think if you have a person, that person is also still holding on to it. Um, man, and you don't know whether to apologize or to you know, seek counsel from others or to heal. You're really at a crossroads trying to come up with a strategy and really appearing strong. But inside, I feel like, you know, literally speaking, some of you are just dying inside. Now, there is an opportunity here, of course. You know, your card wanting you to know this. As I told you over here, I said, listen, even if something is hanging in the balance, as I said over here, and I told you, you know, there's a wide gap. Even if this is the case, you still have this love inside of you, right? This card, Cup of Schnooks, represents you. You still have an opportunity to move forward in love um, and to sort of start with your own self-love and grow um, before seeking it from outside sources. It's very interesting, Pisces. You seem like you're working on yourself, so keep on doing that. Um, let's go to Aries. Okay, Aries, welcome. How are you? We are going to do this reading today and just kind of get in touch with the truth. What's going on? We want the brutal honesty today. Tapping into that. Oh, okay, star card. Um, let's see what happens. Let us see what happens. And here is your person. As well, um, welcome to Schnookums Land, everybody. Hello to my existing schnooks. Let's see if we can do this. Oop, something fell. Wow, a lot of you have people who are just either shy or just not speaking to you, or you have a very quiet love life right now. Um, this is probably encouraging you to mix and mingle, even though it's on your person's side. So. I mean, for some of you, you could have dealt with somebody who appeared to be withdrawn, but really was out there doing their thing. Obviously, three being a crowd, you know, either they watch you, you watch them. You know, that's my little spycraft card there, the Page of Swords or the Princess of Swords, as it's called here. I think there's a conversation to be had. It's been left hanging. You know, um, I think that this person is recalling some things from the past and they want to really have a deep talk about it. They want to talk about how they were moving towards commitment. Um, they want to take a high minded approach, like an elevated approach with that king of swords. Whether or not you'll be attuned to that, we don't know. We just know that somebody here obviously has been invested in some capacity. Um, you are like, well, good for them, but no. Why are these coming out together? Ooh, that's Kappa Schnooks, King Kappa. Um, you know, Aries, I'm going to leave this one up to you because this is presenting an opportunity. I was just going to say, some of you need to mend your own personal issues. That's showing up in these challenges. Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Even the Four of Cups is not paying attention to what's in front of it. I'm not encouraging you to be with anybody or not, but I will say that there is an opportunity here to have a conversation that clarifies things between you and somebody, right? These two are very mature. They rule communication. They're showing up in your cards um, and you have in the same position Look, the Hierophant and the Four of Wands. It's serious, it's connectedness, it's connection, and it's commitment. I'm not promising commitment for every single Aryan that watches this, but I am saying that, you know, if there's been an argument and you've waited to hear from somebody and you're guarded about it, I think something is thawing out. 
I think this King of Cups is here to rule from a place of love and maturity. And I think that somebody has been watching you, probably going to offer a token of some sort, um, probably going to come out of hiding. But, you know, whatever happens, this person is better in person, better in person. Three of Cups energy, that celebration, that seeing someone in the flesh. That way you can really hear them out, have this back and forth conversation, and then you decide, like I said, you decide what you want to do with this omen. By the way, this is a very special omen on this channel. If you want to know why, go to my channel homepage, click on the videos tab, and look for a video with a video thumbnail that says Tarot Shocker, and you'll see why we love King Cup of, Cup of Schnooks so much and why he's an omen, and in this case, he's giving you the option, as I described, okay? Um, hello, Taurus. Welcome to Schnickham's Land, everybody. How are you doing? Um, let's have a look at what's going on. Thank you for joining. So we're doing brutally honest truths today. I hope you're strapped in and ready. Oh, that's light energy, the full card. Oh, the sun card. Wait a minute, Taurus. What's going on? This is super cute. Wow. This may be your best reading ever, even just based on these three cards, like these three cards alone are just good enough to carry you because your readings are, you know, they can be quite brutal and tough. Beautiful energy there. Even the temperance is coming out for you. There's something very new and very good on the horizon. You see this newness? It's bringing you happiness, joy. Maybe there's a return. I don't know if you want that, but, you know, this is also victory. Um, the timing is right for something. I think a decision will be presented to you that will make a difference in your current love life amazing cards the magician even coming out now some of you could have been broken and torn for a long time ten of swords five of cups seven of wands you could have been healing from either a lost marriage connection or something of the sort with the hair of but this represents you and this represents somebody being nostalgic about you i do see our little you know omen here you know sort of peeking out this is Cup of Schnooks, King Cuppa. If you want to know why he's an omen, you'll have to go to my channel homepage and click on the videos tab and look for a video with a thumbnail that says Tarot Shocker. And you'll see he followed your um, sort of sister sign, Libra. Both of you share Venus. Um, followed, followed us for a while and really, you know, has become, this, 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 this king has become quite an omen here and a beautiful omen at that because you know, he's the king of love, he's king cuppa, king of cups, emotions, things of that sort. Beautiful reading, though, in terms of your love life and or your person on this external side, because it's really promising a new beginning that's very happy, you know, very victorious, somebody coming back around, especially after a long time, if that's what you want. But if that's not what you want, this is just victory then, you know, because um, it, it does have multiple meanings. Uh, you can take that as victory. You can take that as, you know, the time being right for you to really make a decision that either someone's manifesting on your behalf or you are manifesting. Wow. Look at that. Wealth also coming your way. Lots of financial stability. I love that for you, especially you being an earth sign. Money is, you know, all these pentacles. Now you could have gone through a bout of just crazy financial distress because this is literally the opposite of that. This card is like the opposite of that almost. Uh, this is five of pentacles to so the ten of pentacles. But look, new chapter after a period of darkness, right? Love that ace of swords for you. Um, and you, you, so you've done this all on your own. You've achieved you know, more than you you would ever think coming out of a, a dark space. And um, yeah, look at that. That was, yeah, that was pretty dark. Um, so the cards are kind of applauding you, asking you to remember that, asking you to dispel any negative thoughts um, and to expect that people will work with you to produce, yeah, that's speaking of your sister sign, Libra. Um, this again, ruled by Venus. It, you won't even see it coming. There's, there's some really great energy coming your way. I don't think you'll see it coming. I think it will help you get out of a place 
um, that left you with dark negative thoughts and left you feeling like you were all alone. And it will grow you into this space where you're now more mature because of your scars. And you're now sort of noticing that people are not working against you, but they're working with you to help you do what? Champion your life. Yeah. This championship card coming out on both sides. Um, it's definitely victory, but it's also, it, like I told you, it could be a return of someone as well, right? A victor coming home to his or her spoils definitely could be a return of someone very important in your life. Okay. Um, let's do Gemini. Hello, Gemini. <coughs> Welcome to this reading. Um, so we're going to have a look at what's going on. Uh, we're going to keep it nice and brutal. I know that's a juxtaposition, but we're going to keep it nice and brutal. Everybody loves it. Honest, brutal, etc., etc. So, um, welcome to Schnookums Land. Hello to my existing Schnookums. Let's see what we have for you today. I'm going to shuffle, 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 but I'm also going to pick at random. Oh, wow. Six of Wands for you, too. Three of Wands, okay. So I think, some, you know, in some cases, some of you have encountered people who felt like a joy ride at first, like a, like a win, like a victory, like, you know, a good way to move forward. And something may have stalled in terms of them maybe asking you to wait on something. Um, but they have been the intellectual leader. They've been the brain, the mastermind in your connections. Um, I think you've let other people think that they have a little bit of intellectual superiority in uh, romantic relationships. But I, I think that has given some people the audacity and the license to either, you know, introduce other people or other things uh, in their connection with you. Whether it's a formal connection with you or an informal connection with you, I think you've dealt with people who may believe that they're smarter than they really are. Um, and so you have this, um, you have someone here who, who wishes for you, who's sad without you, but who, whom you may have blocked, really, or who may have blocked you before they got blocked, you know? Um, so it's, there's an, in, there's an unstable connection because someone probably said too much or acted as though they had more clout in the connection than, you know, you would ordinarily give. I think you may be extended too long a stick and now you're sort of healing from that. You're recognizing your power. You're saying you're the star in this show and not anybody else. You're looking at your accomplishments, working, yeah, working through them. Good for you, I mean, if this applies to you. Others of you are still sort of stuck in a mode of conflict. Um, you know, yeah. Probably, probably withdrawing yourself from that conflict, really. Because that's not where you want your love life to go. I just think you stood up for yourself and now, you know, you're by yourself, but you're slowly getting to a point where you can be open to someone again. I feel like love has been difficult for you. I don't know why, but I think you want simple connections, but something here has been moving very slowly. Some of you are recovering and healing from narcissistic energy. I can see that over here in your healing card. Um, you're probably healing from someone, like I told you, Either you made that person feel superior or that person just carries themselves as though they are superior, right? Of course, this is for some of you, not all. And of course, it's not a diagnosis, but I'm just seeing you healing from somebody who was like, wow, man, what a burden, what a lot to carry, what drama sometimes, heat that you didn't need. So it takes some time to heal and sort of move forward, I think, so that you can grow in a way that is um, useful to you. I, I do think that there's still feelings there. I see the queen of wands is trying to come out to meet the king of wands, but I'm letting you shine today. I'm letting you work on what you need to work on, uh, research what you need to research in order to heal your broken heart. And then when you come out or ready to come out of this mode of like, let me clamor, you know, I'm sorry, let me clam, let me go inside my, my shell. 
then this will happen, right? You'll, you'll start to do connections. You start to come out again. But right now you get this guarded energy, which I do not blame you for, right? Okay, let us move on to Cancer. Hey, hey. Um, let's see. Hi, Cancer. How are you? So let's have a look at the brutally honest truth today. What can we truthfully tell you about your love life and or your person? You know, as always, keep in mind, these are general readings, okay? So when you see tarot readings on the internet, they are demos. Look at this lovely sun coming out for you right they're demos they're not <laughs> some people like forget where they are and think that they know the tarot reader that's called a parasocial relationship you don't know the tarot reader they they don't know you you don't have a relationship with them yeah so don't get in your mind and make believe that you've paid for a general reading on the internet on every tarot channel you get to no it's general it's a demo and um, usually of the tarot reader's skills, just so you can get a taste of what's going on. Having said that, <clears throat> let's look at your person. And when I say your, I mean you plural. Um, these are excellent cards for you, Cancer. I mean it sincerely because I don't know what some of you have been going through sometimes, but now I feel like a burst of energy where you're returning to your old self, if that makes any sense. Um, it's not a coincidence that as I was shuffling, your first card was actually the sun, if you remember. And I'm looking at this. I mean, even look at the color scheme, right? Tells you a lot, doesn't it? Well, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes they could put red and it's the devil. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, this is the perception of you now. You have somehow turned something around. Someone is perceiving you or people are perceiving you as, you know, elevated, attractive, you know, in control, in charge, um, much more fun. I don't know how, what dimmed your light before, but apparently that sun was shining so brightly, people are picking up what you're putting down. This is also the Nine of Cups, which is a lot about uh, wish fulfillment, self-fulfillment. I really think that somebody who is physically attracted to you still misses you. Um, in fact, your reading is so hot that I really have to turn off the heater. <laughs> it's so hot, you're heating things up, Cancer. I mean, I can barely breathe. Show me, like, what is going on, Cancer? You are, you are blazing hot. Um, but anyway, whatever, right? This is the perception of you. Uh, so whatever's going on externally is what we're picking up. You may not even be aware of it, but that's the energy you're giving off. Beautiful. I, be I do think that some of you are going to get into connections that will have a restart and that will, you know, um, show a promise for the long term. It might be a new, totally new connection with that full card. But yeah, someone's, you know, fast approaching, Knight of Swords energy. Um, I will say that there's a tug of war that will still come at you. Obviously, this always happens. When things go absolutely wonderfully, you know, you always that ha have that one little hater that might creep into your mind, remind you of like a terrible memory or an argument, something sharp. You know, look at all these tens coming out, ten of swords, ten of pentacles, ten of uh, wands, all just trying to get at the way someone is looking at you, right? Someone is reappreciating you and, you know, perhaps making other people feel um, like, well, you were complaining before, this person wasn't so great before, what's going on? That's for some of you returning to a past person. Others of you, I mean, there is maximal you know, energy showing up here today. You have the 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles, 10 of wands, 10 of swords. That's all the tens you could possibly pick. So I would just, you know, try to seek a balance as great things happen to you. Try to seek a balance, not let it get way too into your head. And of course, as you know, people depart or get silent or, you know, whatever have you cause distance, 
try not to take it personally. And, you know, they're going to, they, some people might bait you into arguments, just generally speaking. You don't have time for those, right? You, you have other things to do, Cancer. Uh, let your light keep shining. I like it. Um, wow. Honestly, the full card coming to confirm this, just like I told you. Didn't I tell you, you know, it's just this lighter, freer energy. Look at you winning. Look at you marching towards your goals, doing your thing. Love it for you. Look at you building. Wow. You're attracting the right attention from the right person right now. I don't care if it's career wise or romance wise. You are definitely attracting something absolutely stunning. Look at that lover's card also coming out here. This is an amazing reading. Uh, leaving you in partnership. Again, same Ace of Swords that we saw there is coming out for you here. Ace is always new beginnings. You have multiple blessings, like huge, 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 um, you know, oh, where's that coming from? Huge, a huge number of blessings coming. But again, remember I told you just as all this abundance comes, you know, there will be this temptation to, you know, think back on bad memories. You're like, oh, but remember when? No, forget that. Forget it. Or heal it, I should say. Who am I to tell you to forget it, right? I'm not telling you forget it like, you know, as if to instruct you what to do with your memory. But I just mean, I really mean F it. Like, screw it for trying to screw with you. Um, because all of these things are markers and, and, and red flags you, you may have ignored. Things that brought you down. Haters obviously showing up here as well. People talking about you and you sort of sleeping with one eye open here. Seven of wands. I mean, I'm sorry, seven of swords. Why do I keep saying wands? So annoying. You know, you can't misspeak with the cards. You can't, you can't call a seven of swords, a seven of wands. It's two totally different meanings. So if I misspeak and you catch me, please let me know. Cause it's just, Oh God, it's horrifying. Um, Anyway, it's kind of like when you say Penn State instead of U Penn. No, sweetie, U Penn is not the same as Penn State. Get it right. Anyway, guys, where was I? Listen, things are coming to test you, but your reading is too good for it anyway. That's just the bottom line. Not only is this really a reading um, that is touting a beautiful new beginning for love, but it's just saying victory in everything money, career, love relationships, success, blah, blah, blah. It's just winning, winning, winning. And you're doing it by changing the chapter, taking that leap of faith, not letting anything stop you and just going for gold, like go for the maximum. Don't stop there. Don't stop at bronze and don't stop at silver. Just go for gold. By the way, don't think I didn't catch this when the king came out to meet the queen. He just came out a little later, but the point is he did come out. King Wakanda right there coming for the Queen of Wands, um, that is his counterpart. So I see you definitely shining brightly um, in, in much of what you do. At the very least, you're going to have a turnaround in some sort of work issue that has probably kept you down for a while. Yeah, your pentacles are showing um, something you've been maybe obsessing over with work or something like that. I think that will have a huge turnaround Yep. And, and definitely you're going to have time for flirting, someone approaching you in love. So I really think this is one of your better readings. I saw the sign at first. So I said, I felt the energy and then the other cards came out. You were just leaping, bouncing all over the place. So I wish you, you know, all the best with that. And I, and I like this, stay on this so that your readings can continue, um, along this path. Everybody needs to heal. And I think you're on that journey, Cancer. Okay. Um, Leo. So Leo, we are on you right now. <clears throat> Let's see what comes up in your reading. Um, this is Schnookums land. Hello to all of my existing Schnookums. Um, just saying a, a quick hello to you and then proceeding with the reading. We're going to skip the usual preamble because everybody knows to watch the channel trailer understand that you know you need to keep your cool on my channel please don't act the fool on my channel please because it's a block 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 kind of day and i will block 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 you right away okay the emperor showing up um hmm oh with the nine of 
okay, great. I like that. Okay, because I wasn't sure. See, sometimes it, if the emperor is, is followed by something problematic, you get a lot of, I would say, stoic, stubborn, machismo, um, you know, tougher energy. But this is softened here by the cups, you know, the nine of cups. Uh, the queen of uh, the queen of pentacles is very reasonable rational stabilizing as earth energy typically is um so i mean listen see seven of wands is coming out i will say some of you could have had in your history um a few people who Yeah, I mean, you could have had a few people whom you've had a rough time dealing with. Um, you know, I think their issues are rooted in their own abandonment complexes, um, their own youth, their own issues, self-fulfillment, wish fulfillment, whatever it is that they're going through. And I don't think that's any of your business. Just because hurt people hurt people, and I can see that here, and I can see this nostalgia does not mean that you need to return to toxicity. It doesn't mean that at all. Um, if that does not apply to you, and I really, really hope it does not. Um, I mean, because I just got this feeling that I didn't really, yeah, I didn't love it. If that does not apply to you, this is just a warning to sort of look out, you know, for people who I think find their way into your life and plant seeds of discord. Um, even if it's subtle, even if it's, you know, a seed of confusion, which I see over here, lack of direction. I think, you know, this is a time to sort of pick up your pace get back that clarity yeah that the sword affords you that you know that logic that wisdom um, and get out of the space where you feel like you're walking on eggshells or like you're conflicted with somebody all the time um it's a bit difficult because you know nothing in the spread is pointing quite to romance um if anything it's like leo you're trying to hold on to your soul yeah you're singing, you won't break my soul. You're trying to also hold on to your coins, more importantly. Oh, my God. There, you know, there's a little bit of a tumble happening here. But I think you bounce back with that full card. I just think right now, yeah, some of you are just registering as solo, single, independent. Even if you're dealing with somebody, it's just, it feels like you need some time to yourself some independence, um, probably, you know, relying back on family who has your back over here. But yeah, you, you know, some of you are not really enjoying a state of directionlessness and you want to be grounded. Hence this cry for help. Yes, I see, you know, um, maybe some of you could have been criticized for not being married by now. Shut that out. You don't need that. The, that's negative talk. Right now, what you need to focus on, instead of trying so hard, right, like the lion strength you are to hold on to something that's dead, I would allow the universe to just keep continuing. Um, because eventually, the person who is meant for you is going to see your worth. This is your worth, and this is somebody who is going to understand that the emperor belongs with the empress. Um, for now, though, lots of financial issues are popping up, my love. This is budgetary, you know. This is brokenness or brokenness. This is the Knight of Pentacles. All of these pentacles, I mean, this is investment, uh, charity, all that with the Six of Pentacles. But there's just so many pentacles that have overwhelmed your energies, both, you know, in your primary cards and in the subconscious. That I do think that a lot of you are just looking to secure yourselves financially so that if somebody leaves you or you find yourself alone, you're not going to say, oh, I don't have a partner. No, I don't have anything, right? You're going to say, listen, I may not have a partner at this moment, but guess what I'm holding on to? Myself, my coins, my independence, my charity, my, you know, sense of giving, um, all of those things. Right now, it feels like um, you are attracting people who may have the same triggers and issues as you. Um, something about you wants to find somebody whom you can invest in mutually. Um, but sometimes I think, you know, there's selfishness somewhere in the connection and that leaves um, somebody unfed. 
either this person is unfed here, four of cups, or you are unfed here, uh, four of cups. Both of you showing me that four of cups. You will stabilize soon. I'm not saying you won't. I'm just, you know, telling you the brutally honest truth of what's happening according to the cards, what you need to pay attention to, how you, you know, how you can grow and how you will grow coming up soon. Okay. Now let's go to Virgo. Hello, Virgo. How are you? Okay, so we're going to do a reading. It's going to be brutally honest. We want everybody, of course, if you're new here, to watch the um, cha channel trailer. It will tell you everything that you need to know about the channel and the decorum. Keep your cool on my channel, please. Don't act the fool on my channel, please. Because it's a block, 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 block kind of day. Oh, oops, you know what? So we accidentally blocked a few people. I just realized that it was totally an accident. <sighs> because I don't know, we were having a conversation and like, I don't know who pressed what, man. So I feel so badly about that. Lord. I don't even know what to do because some people might be like, wait a minute. There isn't a star next to my comment. What is going on? Now, Rosemary, we blocked for real. Her ass, we definitely blocked. But <laughs> others, we did not. So I don't know. I feel so badly. Anyway, um... Hmm. Have you ever just thought about following your gut, Virgo? I ask this because I feel like you talk yourself out of what you're seeing in someone a lot. Like you're seeing a little bit of instability, like, oh, they didn't come through this one time, then they do it again, and then they do it again. And it's like, they, you know, because the thing is, if you call them out, then they're present and they're like, what? No, that was me. I didn't mean to, yada, yada, yada. But there's always something hanging in the balance. And then this person, like, I feel like withdraws a little bit. So it's like, but I feel also that your intuition has told you, okay, these are the types of people that you're attracting to yourself, right? Whether you're single, dating, married, or in a situationship, like there's something here that needs security. In some of your cases, somebody is like literally mooching off of you or vice versa. And it's a, it's a relationship of convenience, you know, it's a partnership of convenience. Something here is like, okay, let me get along or let me act, you know, the way I'm supposed to because I don't want to rock the boat. And then the boat gets rocked, words get exchanged, and look what happens. Toxicity. Um, isn't Kiki Palmer a Virgo? Let's leave that alone. Um, I'm going to get to that. But I, man, some people... If, if somebody catches you hitting on a woman who in 2023, they still do that. They still do that. I can't believe this world is so crap, man. So crap. People are trying to do their best to be loved. That's all. That's all you have to do is love. Love is that difficult. It's not like, you know, do you know what I mean? It's not like some people, you know, trying to love somebody who's married and taken. And then that's complicated, right? But even if it were, you're not supposed to hit on anybody, period. But what I'm saying is, how you how do you have a situation in which all you literally have to do is shut up and love? Shut up and love. What is not to love? Do you know what I mean? And these people, Virgos who want to be perfect, you guys, man, follow your gut. You you don't have to please anybody. You don't have to act like you're fun and it's all good. If you're, you know what I mean? If you're a tight wad, then that's what you are. You're tight, you're picky, you're, and that's fine. Don't, don't over explain yourself and don't, you know, present a facade like, you know, all is well and you know, but then again, there are shisty people. Anyway, I'm just, I was just really upset to hear a particular kind of news. 
And, you know, Virgos, listen, do what you got to do. The universe has your back. It looks like you're growing up. Good for you. Two kings. You have counsel. Oh, you're healing. Uh, your star is still shining brightly. People are supporting you. You will have the connection that you deserve. But first, the universe is telling you, get rid of that idiot, Darius. <sighs> when I... When I started this reading, it was literally not at all about Kiki. But when I, when the story started to form, I was like, "What? Why is this?" I was like, "Why is this reading sounding very familiar? Like something that bothered me this morning?" And I said, "Wait a minute, is this about Kiki?" Because sometimes the cards will do that. Now they'll pick up someone's story and then they'll really detail it. And see, the cards are saying, "Red flag, red flag, red flag. Move on, move on, move on, and literally move." Um, that's what, you know, that's what just so happens to your fellow Virgo. Now, for those of you, you know, who are not quite caught up in certain situations with certain terrible a-holes, um, this is really talking about you taking this break to heal. So, I mean, I guess it would apply to all of you, including Kiki. This is taking this break to heal, right? This four of swords is about falling back a little bit, rest and relaxation, saying nothing, you know, letting your star still shine brightly. But do you know what? This is all about healing as well. The star card contains healing elements to it. People having your back over here, three of cups, energy. Of course, you know that's Cup of Schnooks, right? King Cuppa. So he is a very good omen on this channel. Um, you know, he followed Libra for the longest time. If you're new to the channel and you want to know all about him, just go to my channel homepage and, um, you know, click on the videos tab and you will see um a video with a thumbnail tarot shocker and you'll see all about king kappa kappa schnooks so you've been through a lot my love with someone whom you thought was your soulmate now you're probably going to leave that alone walk away or maybe you've been left alone you're probably at a crossroads trying to decide what's happening to you, but the universe is saying, don't worry, you're still a star, you're gonna win. People have your back, you're healing, take the time to heal, listen to counsel, right? Um, three of these I prefer to refer to as counsel, but we'll take two, even two. There are two significant uh, figures in your life, and if not, you have two sides of yourself, the emotional side with the cups, and the action taking side and the universe is encouraging you to balance the two take action if you need to walk away from your own emotions then do that so that you can achieve the safety security and balance that you need all right um let us go to libra oh they whoop his ass from here till sunday that's what I hope, but you know, <sighs> Libra, what is going on? How are you? Everybody, welcome to the channel. Um, this is Schnookums Land. Hello to my existing Schnookums. Um, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Libra, I just got off a rant about my girl Kiki. Kiki Palmer, what a sweet girl, do you know what I mean? What a sweetheart. Sometimes you guys, you know, you don't have to date anybody. You know, I know everybody, some, some women or men, you know, want kids and they want to grow and they want to reach certain milestones. But do you know what? I mean, maybe connect with yourself first. Learn the lessons that are being taught to you. Look at the flags that you've picked up because I think sometimes like a lot of things are in theory. You haven't really experienced them for yourself. So you think, you know, and then you find yourself in a situation where you're like, dang, I thought I knew about this. You don't really, it's weird. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, because sometimes maybe you do know, but then you get in a connection and it's like, it's happening and you know, it shouldn't happen. I'm like, how the heck? How the heck is this happening because you're not used to it so it's like your brain lags a little bit you would think if you were watching a movie if you saw something go wrong you would be like get out of there immediately right because you're watching the movie but when it's you for some reason depending on the kind of you know 
psychological framework you have. Like some people might think they have the strongest psychological framework and it's, something still fails. You're like, how the heck? I thought I was a strong person. How am I letting this person talk to me crazily, right? So anyway, I definitely empathize with her and, you know, I hope somebody kicks, you know, who's behind. For you to start with the two of cups, I really, really bless, bless your heart and hope that you do encounter this level of love, simple and short. Um, some of you have been overgivers. People may have walked all over you as a result of that. But this is saying that all praise due to the most high, you might actually connect with somebody who will give to you and help you stabilize even your finances, believe it or not. That is your next challenge to actually be with someone who fulfills you emotionally and stabilizes you in the way that you have contributed and stabilized others. This person is more, it's possibly more outgoing than you. I know that's hard to believe because Libras are very outgoing, but yeah, this is a beautiful reading as well. Very similar to Cancer. So now for some of you, you feel very, very far away from this goal. Very far. Like you're like, listen, I've watched all of your readings and I still feel like this is a fat chance I still feel like this is drifting. Well, if you've never left your house, I don't know what to tell you. For others of, for others of you, the Six of Swords is probably um, a signal that, you know, when you do get on a voyage, um, you might meet someone who is different, who's far away, but probably willing to travel. Um, and then for the rest of you, this could signal a drifting apart, right? A shift. Um, you need to see the Six of Swords in the traditional deck because this will not tell you. You can only read these kinds of decks if you're uh, a bit advanced in tarot. So I have to kind of explain sometimes when I pull these cards. But having said all that, whatever that drift signifies for you, the ultimate is that this is starting with the Two of Cups, which is such a beautiful, loving energy. And at the bottom of that, following that, is this? I know that ain't who I think it is. What? Not copper schnooks. So then what is the point of, of, of continuing to le read for Libra? Because look, you're always going to pull a kink either in the subconscious at my random pulls or, you know, just a card calling my attention because sometimes cards will call my attention and this one just did while I was talking. Or, you know what I mean? You, like it's, it's going to be copper schnooks or it's going to be, you, do you know what I mean? Like, so I, I see a love story. I see something happening. But it's almost as if this one wants me to direct you somewhere. And I, I refuse to do that because I want to leave these readings open to your own possibilities. I see, listen, all I can tell you is that I see great things, right? I gave you the real. I didn't sugarcoat it. I told you that some of you obviously are drifting apart from somebody or experiencing something that will create an emotional distance or physical distance between you and somebody. I said that already. Then I, you know, so I mentioned the hair font. Okay, the hair font is a marriage card. I just sometimes don't like to take things extra far because, you know, I don't want to get people to get all excited. But to be fair, fate is still at play with the Wheel of Fortune turning. And then he got my attention. And I was like, what is going on? He's back here again. So if you're new to this channel and you don't understand the creepiness about this, you need to go to my channel homepage and then click on the videos tab and look for a video called Tarot Shocker. It will tell you all about King Kappa and why he's basically your omen. Now, he does not have to represent your past person. Some of you have attributed him to your past person. You're like, oh, that's, you know, Dave, Damon, Darius, Tyrone, uh, Smith, <laughs> Tyler, you know, Roger, whomever it is that you've attributed him to. I think he is a shifting character, right? Who has now become more so an omen than an actual physical entity. Now, I know that court cards and tarot represent people. I know that. But I am telling you, right, based on these readings, that he does not necessarily have to be the same person. For some of you, he is. For some of you, this is someone who has been trying to win you back 
or has been trying to signal to you that they are coming back from wherever they've drifted off to. They've been trying to get your attention to tell you that, and that's fine. But either way, you have the Hierophant, it's a committal card, you have the Wheel of Fortune, your luck is changing, you have even this, finding yourself in love, finding yourself building finally with somebody. Um, yeah, getting that balance, someone thinking about you. I think it's great. You have two aces here, brand new beginnings, um, someone being very passionate. Remember I told you over here with this social card that, you know, you could be attracting somebody who's even more outgoing than you. Like even if you're a hermit, most Libras are very charming. So to get somebody who is even more charming than you is quite shocking, isn't it? But I get that sense from obviously the social energy, this very, very passionate energy, generous in the bedroom, by the way. Um, and just these new beginnings that will lead to something a lot more stable, a lot stabler for uh, those of you who have been in this game for a long time. I think, are you joking? But what, but why? Oh my gosh, the sun is at the bottom. <sighs> Guys, I, you know, I know some of you think, all right, this is getting ridiculous. Because I, I know I'm thinking that, right? But you, you're you watching this. It's not like I am like, oh, let me pause the video and then let me, you know, make sure this card comes out and this card comes out. No, I'm not doing that. King Cuppa is coming out. Some of you are close to even maybe a wedding. You're close. You're close. I think King Cuppa keeps, keeps coming out to tell you you're close. N don't give up. Keep this, you know, positive energy. Some of you, I think, in the daytime, you're fine. And then at night, you start having, you know, raggedy thoughts about raggedy people. For King Cuppa to come out again over here, wow, he definitely wants to be mentioned. He definitely wants to tell you you're close. Look at this winning energy, Six of Wands. Oh, my God, I'm exhausted. Right, it keeps talking about patience for you as well, you know, having that temperance and cheese Louise. Can't believe it. No, seriously, I really can't. I don't know. I'm not controlling this at all. This is randomized. So what do you want me to do? Somebody's fast approaching you, darling. It's crazy. Unbelievable. I I don't even really now for some of you, I don't know. You may not want to hear this, but I, the person who's fast approaching is somebody from your past. That sucks, right? I know for some. But for others, it could be, you know, somebody very, very brand new that will get the haters talking. Like really, really. Like I don't know if this person is like particularly handsome or wealthy or controversial. But I do see soulmate energy, but I also see haters talking, like really, really talking about you, like, because maybe this is really your counterpart, depending on your own personality. This is the emperor coming out, you know, on your side, meaning somebody is ready for you. You are the empress. Um, this is the queen of cups coming to meet the king of cups, divine counterparts. And I'm telling you that this king of cups has followed you like an omen, like a guiding light. For how long now? What, almost five months? I mean, what do you want? You know what I mean? He's obviously trying to get somebody's attention, even if it's not yours. If you're like, no, 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 no. No love in my life. I just want to watch tarot. That's fine. But somebody, right, is being come for here. You're definitely setting off on a new path with those aces. Um, a cycle completes and a new one begins. very creepy i don't know i told you guys i'm not a, i'm not a well maybe i am a witch but not that kind of witch that controls cards <laughs> i mean how the heck can that that just keep happening and happening and happening at first it was funny now it's just creepy like are you joking obviously that's a message is you know that's happening because somebody who probably watches my channel very often has probably aligned with these cards in some kind of way. And that thing, that King of Cups omen is just telling you you're on the right path. Don't give up, you know, that kind of thing. Um, you know, the universe has heard you. You will find your person. And um, for, for one or two of you or quite a few of you, it could be a past person. 
I got that out there, but I'm not saying that it is. All right, um, let's move on to Scorpio. Scorpio, sometimes I have to take a breather after doing the Libra reading, sorry. All right, welcome to Schnookums land, everybody. Hello to my existing Schnookums. Um, let's get started and see what we have for you, darling. Let's see what we have for you. I hope all is well, and um, if you're new here, you definitely should watch the channel trailer at the beginning of this video because it tells you everything you need to know about the decorum, why we block so generously. Sometimes we do it by accident, so we block some people by accident, total accident, and that drove me mad. I hope those people don't get upset. Um, anyway... Decorum, decorum, decorum. Keep your cool on my channel, please. Um, wow. So some Bruce Lee honest truths here. This one's to say something. It's an ace of cups as well as a lover's card. Okay. So in this situation, my love, I think maybe somebody misspoke, but I, I'm not going to read against that person because I feel like with the ace of cups and the lovers, in this deck that I'm still holding, love is at the bottom. Somebody had and still has enormous feelings for you. It's just that, you know, there was a misdirection somewhere, you know, obviously someone's tortured by something they've said or an argument that's been had between you and this person, whomever it could be, you know, you know, whatever recent arguments you've had, I think someone regrets it, you know, bothers them at night and so on and so forth. It's also saying that somebody wants to, you know, sort of approach and invest in you. Um, this person is accomplishment driven. Mm. Someone's really missing and thinking about you. Oh my God. This is a loss if, you know, if you're not together. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I feel the loss. I didn't know this was going to happen, but yeah, it's there. This is a distance. I don't know if this is salvageable. Let me pull one more. Oh, it might be. It could be if you talk. But I don't think this person is even showing their inner, like, the truth of the matter is this person is hurt and this person actually enjoys or enjoyed your presence, but they fear that, you know, something is done. It's, it's ghosting energy. It's a wrap with a death card. Death card. They've been thinking about it nonstop since it happened. Breakup, shakeup going on here. Um, somebody definitely wants to approach you, but is guarded. Highly, highly guarded, blocked. I believe they're in reflection right now. Um, and then, you know, for others of you, I would just say, man, words linger for some reason, you know, in connections. People remember what's said, how it's said. Um, and I think one or more people in a certain connection in your relationship history probably needs to, to, to talk it out, you know, to sort it out. I just don't think this person thinks an opportunity will present itself. I also think that you'll focus on other things anyway. This is work and labor. You feel like you're owed an apology from someone for some of you and others of you are like, listen, I'm done. I'm throwing in the towel because it's either been too long or it's been too hard and you're manifesting something new and different. It's funny because you have the magician, they have the magician. Both of you could be manifesting each other. You've been probably looking up information, spying, doing whatever with that page of swords, trying to figure out what's going on. Um, but for some reason, I'm just seeing whatever here was toxic had to do. <laughs> oh God, it's the card spell. Had to do with something negative that happened. Yeah, so there's a connection here that had so much potential, but it feels to me like an argument took place, right? These swords are very sharp too. Knights, you know, coming at each other with those swords can be very um, detrimental. So you're probably either walking away or, 
you know, trying to manifest something different, even while you're looking up information about somebody of interest. Very interesting, um, Scorpio. Let's move on to Sagittarius. Both of you are working very hard, by the way. I don't know why this is calling my attention. So both of you have the Eight of Pentacles. I think the, the universe is also saying that a little bit more work put in on both sides could have salvaged something. So we shall see. Okay, let's move on to Sag. My cards have fallen. Hang on. Sagittarius. All right, darling. Don't I have to catch a train? Like soon. All right. Um... Hey, baby. Um, why do I always say that when I get to sad? I'm always saying, hey, baby. All right. Let's see what's going on. What kind of hissy fit we are throwing today. Let's see. Welcome to Schnookums land, everybody. Hello to my existing Schnookums. How are you? Let's get in some truth and honesty. Hmm. Some of you like the older ones, don't you? You like a little bit of a, a mature situation. Okay. Maturity popping up. Ooh. Wow, this is very interesting because I was just about to say they're all major arcana, but this minor one came out. Listen, did you bite off more than you can chew? Because I don't know why these threes are showing up, but you know the threes are crowd. I've told you already. Now, somebody wants you. I'm not going to deny that, but somebody may be caught in somebody else as well. So that's why their hands are tied sometimes. That's why they can't do certain things sometimes. Um, but they are expressing a, a, a lot of love for you. Um, they're, they're, they're really admiring uh, quite a bit about what you have to offer. These two are divine counterparts. The empress did fall out to meet the emperor. But I feel like there's, you know, there's a travel involved. There might be, there could be. Some of you are doing something that's longer distance than normal than you would typically do. Others of you are basically thinking about somebody who may jump into that chariot and offer you an apology for something after some deep reflection, you know? Um, look at them nostalgically with that Six of Cups over here with this reflection you see in this judgment card coming to sound judgment and maybe appealing to you logically about something. Somebody is so into you. I kind of, I kind of dig this energy. I mean, she fell out, he fell out, whatever. I kind of dig this energy because I feel like very soon, if not already, you could meet your intellectual counterpart. Yeah. Love this card. These two are quite good together mentally you could meet your intellectual counterpart somebody who elevates you i was getting sort of like maturity vibes um being really what you need um leaving behind things that are gains and coming into the space of like yeah that wish fulfillment that self-fulfillment um doing what feels good to you because some of you again you've also had some reflection but you've also felt like hey maybe you're stuck do you know what i mean like maybe you're stuck in situations that don't serve you there's some breadcrumbing that has happened look at that tiny little crumb you're like listen i deserve a lot more so i would expect a message yeah i mean these are very communicative cards over here with these swords um, I would expect this messenger to send you a message. Some of you may not trust it at first. <laughs> you know, some of you may say, hey, connections move very slowly in my life these days, and that's draining. 
But I suspect with the Queen of Swords really making her mark there that some kind of clarity is coming. You know, somebody's going to take the reins and say, okay, enough. Let's stop the BS. Let's talk about this. Let's get to the bottom line. You know, this Empress keeps flashing over here as well. I'm not going to pull her out, but um, I think the shakeup happens in your love life when somebody finally steps forward and speaks. Rather than spying, rather than, you know, doing everything else, I think when somebody finally steps forward and speaks, you get to a place of commitment, you get out of this stuck mode, things pick up from being so slow, you stop feeling so much loss, um, and then you stop being breadcrumb for some of you. You need more, okay? And don't be afraid to ask for it, especially if you're not in a connection. But if you are, definitely do not be afraid to ask somebody. Use your voice as this Queen of Swords does. Do not be afraid to say, listen, I want my emperor, or I want my person, and I want that strength, and I want you know, whatever. I want you to come closer. I want you to drive to me. I want you to see me. I want you to think about me. I want you to reflect on me. Anything that needs to be said, the King and Queen of Swords are there to usher you to say it and to usher your person as well, because that is the maturity in a connection and in any relationship you enter, whether it's now or in the future. Okay. Very important message and very important lesson. All right, let's move on to the next sign. And that sign is called the peace sign. 